Danielle. I'm Jessica Seinfeld. Does the idea of having people over your house completely stress you out? If so, you're totally normal. Everyone I know is horrified by the idea of a bunch of people coming to their house for a cocktail party or any kind of gathering because everyone feels totally unprepared. So this video is going to completely prepare you for having people over your house and actually enjoying yourself. Okay, so your mindset is so important to having people over. And knowing that you're not gonna be running around the whole entire time is super, super important. So that requires preparation and thought before people come over. And really, the whole idea is to make everything self-serve so people can help themselves and you can sit around with your friends and enjoy your night instead of running around back and forth. So what we're gonna do is completely set you up. So the first thing I do is protect my furniture from my messy friends. I put placemats over everything. I've created an area that's a bar here. It's not really a bar, but I've made it a bar. And it's now covered with placemats so people can spill and it doesn't bother me. I choose my drink of choice of the night, which in this case, it's tequila, which people are wild about now. I All I hear about is people drinking tequila. Um, probably because it's low in sugar and I have friends who claim it doesn't um, give them a hangover. So I've created a drink with tequila, soda, grapefruit juice, lemon, lime, and grapefruit. I name it because that's kind of a memorable thing and I usually name my drink after someone who's coming or some event or something that's pertinent to the night. I serve red wine white wine, and if it's the summer, I'll, I'll choose rosé, but I open my wine bottles before people come and I chill them at least a half an hour before people come. This is um, not an ice bucket. This is a wine bucket, but it's not even a wine bucket. It's a punch bowl that I got for something many years ago for very little money, and I fill it with ice and everything's chilling. So again, it's open and people can do self-serve. I just have one style of glass for everything. This serves as my wine glass, my water glass, and our cocktail glass. And it's just so much easier, especially for New York City people or city people who have small apartments. Uh, there's not a lot of place for storage. So one glass serves multi-purposes and you know, you can even serve champagne in it. Who cares? Um, you know, if a purist is watching this is offended by it, I'm sorry about that. But I just think it's very nice and cool to have your own signature moves, and this is one of them. Serving everything in one glass. You can have straws, it's not essential. I got my ice bucket, I think from Crate and Barrel a few years ago, on sale. Ice buckets are always on sale. Ice is something that is a great thing to ask that polite friend of yours who says, can I bring anything? Yes, you can bring me some ice. It's available at convenience stores, grocery stores, and it's not that expensive. As far as quantity is concerned, you wanna think about who's coming. People tend to drink anywhere between one and three glasses of wine if they drink wine. My friends tend to drink three glasses of wine, so I know that there's four glasses of wine in a bottle of wine, so I just do the math and I think how many people are coming, they're each gonna have about three glasses of wine. That's X number of bottles I have to buy. I just got this. Um, this is an upgrade from what I used to have, but it's a, a fancy wine opener, and it's kind of worth the investment after all this time of getting cork in the bottle of my wine. I just took the plunge. And also, because this is a self-serve party, if you have a nice wine opener, even your most incompetent friends can open wine for you, which is the point. You wanna ask people to help you out. You don't have to do everything yourself. Always serve water, have that ready, so people can just self-serve, again, in your glasses that everyone is drinking wine, cocktail, water from. And I always have lemon, lime, oranges. Sometimes I have a straw if the cocktail I'm serving is particularly festive, and cocktail napkins are a nice touch. You don't need them. You can just get little plain white napkins. 
but they have cute ones online, they have cute ones at stores, and they have personalized ones, which I think are a nice gift to give or a nice gift to get. Okay, so this will be totally organized for you on InStyle.com so you know exactly what you're doing when you have your first cocktail party.